Imagine a world where electricity, the unseen force powering our daily lives, suddenly vanishes. No lights, no heating or cooling, no communication. Experts are warning that this dystopian scenario could arrive sooner than we expect. Recent analyses suggest the potential for catastrophic power outages is no longer a distant threat but a pressing reality. Our modern network of power grids is stretched to its limits, leaving us vulnerable to system-wide failures. With energy consumption surging and extreme weather events destabilizing infrastructure, the chances of a massive blackout aren't a question of if, but when. Are we truly ready for the magnitude of such a disruption, or will we be caught unprepared when the lights go out? When events send shockwaves through global stability, recent events paint an ominous picture of our power grid's fragility. Extreme weather phenomena, cyber attacks on infrastructure, and geopolitical tensions have exposed the cracks in our energy systems. Each incident chips away at the reliability of the grids we depend on, underscoring the urgency for proactive measures. Modern economies rely on seamless energy supply, but how resilient is the system when stress-tested by such unpredictable factors? The implications are far-reaching, hinting at the potential unraveling of essential services if we don't act promptly to bolster our energy infrastructure. Preparedness is no longer optional. For those in the prepping community, the warning signs have been clear for years. But as the risk grows more apparent, the need for widespread awareness and planning becomes undeniable. Preparedness is not just about storing food and water. It's about anticipating the ripple effects of a long-term power outage and building sustainable solutions. Learning survival skills, securing alternative power sources, and fostering community resilience are key steps. The question isn't if we should prepare, but how much time we have left to do so. The clock is ticking, and greediness could be the difference between navigating a crisis or enduring chaos. A wake-up call from Europe. If you think the power grids in developed countries are safe, think again. This year, Europe was hit with a staggering blackout that didn't just inconvenience a few neighborhoods. Spain, Portugal, and parts of France were plunged into sudden darkness, affecting tens of millions of people. Businesses shuttered without warning, hospitals scrambled to function, public transit froze, and critical infrastructure came grinding to a halt. Even cellular networks the very backbone of modern communication, couldn't withstand the chaos. For those caught in the middle of the mess, it didn't just feel like an outage. It felt like the world was coming to a stop. The reality is harsh and unavoidable. Modern infrastructure is far weaker than most of us would care to admit. We like to think of Europe as having a sturdy, reliable grid. These aren't countries typically associated with widespread blackouts, and yet, it happened. This was a glaring display of how vulnerable even stable energy systems truly are. The ripple effects were undeniable. Businesses lost millions in revenue. Ordinary people couldn't access bank accounts or make electronic payments. Simple tasks like buying groceries or staying connected with loved ones became Herculean challenges. And this wasn't some apocalyptic war zone, this was metropolitan Europe. What's even scarier is that this isn't a freak accident, but a sign of things to come. Power grids across the globe are under unprecedented strain. Aging infrastructure, skyrocketing electricity demand, and climate-induced pressures create a perfect storm for frequent, large-scale power failures. The blackout in Europe is a harbinger of a pattern we're going to see repeatedly. The takeaway? You can't count on the system to work when it matters most. Modern society glorifies convenience, but fails to address the frailty of the systems it relies on. If a power failure of this magnitude can hit parts of Europe, what's stopping it from happening where you live? The answer is nothing, and the sooner we reckon with that, the better prepared we'll be for the increasingly unstable future. The fragile balance of power. The blackout in Europe wasn't caused by some raging storm tearing through the continent. It wasn't even the result of a foreign cyber attack. It happened because of something much simpler and far more terrifying, a massive power imbalance on the grid. This imbalance triggered safety mechanisms designed to protect the grid from total destruction. While officials patted themselves on the back for the system working as intended, they completely sidestepped the bigger issue. The root cause of this imbalance remains a mystery, and that's not okay. Here's the hard truth. We're navigating a crumbling network of wires and switches that only barely manage to keep the lights on. Everything about the modern power grid is precariously balanced. A sudden disruption in supply and demand can send the whole system spiraling into chaos. That's what happened in Europe. The safety protocols designed to save the grid from catastrophic damage kicked in, but at what cost? People were left powerless, literally and figuratively. 
while officials shrugged their shoulders and offered zero concrete answers for why it happened in the first place. This isn't just a European problem. Electricity grids worldwide share this tenuous fragility. Their dependence on just-in-time power generation means there's little room for error. Add renewable energy sources like solar and wind, which are variable by nature, and you've got a recipe for disruption. Combine all this with aging infrastructure, and you quickly realize how close we are to complete and utter failure. The most infuriating part? The lack of accountability. Public officials and energy providers offer vague reassurances instead of real solutions. The systems worked as they were supposed to, they say, ignoring the fact that millions of people's lives were thrown into turmoil. Without clarity on what caused this power imbalance, there's no way to prevent it from happening again. It's not a question of if, but rather when. You may think these events are technical concerns reserved for engineers and policymakers, but they're not. They directly impact every single person who relies on electricity, which, in today's world, is everyone. Food supply chains, healthcare infrastructure, and basic communication all depend on a functioning grid. And yet, we continue gambling with the fragile balance of power, the solar threat we can't ignore. If you think a power imbalance is scary, wait until you hear what's brewing in the heavens. Solar flares and coronal mass ejections, CMEs, are the ultimate wildcards. And the scary part is, they're not theoretical. They're real, and they've been happening for as long as the sun has existed. Here's why you should be concerned. CMEs are massive bursts of solar energy riddled with magnetic fields. When these particles reach Earth, they can wreak havoc on our technology. Satellites can fail, GPS systems can go haywire, and most frighteningly, power grids could collapse. Unlike the blackout in Europe, which lasted hours or days, the damage from a CME could cripple electrical infrastructure for weeks, months, or even years. Experts believe the probability of a catastrophic CME event increases during a solar maximum. Guess what? That's exactly where we are now. We're in the peak of the sun's 11-year cycle of activity, and that means the chance of a grid-melting CME is higher than it's been in nearly a decade. The problem isn't just the potential for immediate power loss. It's the long-lasting implications. Modern grids aren't designed to withstand the impact of a geomagnetic storm of this magnitude. Transformers could blow out, and repairing or replacing them would take months, if not years. The ripple effect would leave entire regions uninhabitable. No heat, no refrigeration, no water treatment. It's hard to overstate how catastrophic this scenario would be. You can't ignore the warning signs. The disaster isn't just a possibility, it's an eventuality. CMEs have hit Earth before, but the last time we saw one capable of global havoc was in 1859 during the Carrington event. Back then, we didn't have a tech-reliant civilization, so the damage was negligible. Today, the consequences would be catastrophic. What's clear is that the systems we rely on are woefully unprepared for the solar challenges of tomorrow. Governments and power companies downplay the risks instead of investing in resilience. Meanwhile, CMEs are out there silently moving toward the next inevitable planetary encounter. Wake up! The Earth's grid isn't ready, and neither are you. America's crumbling power grid. The U.S. power grid is a ticking time bomb, and every summer brings us dangerously close to catastrophe. Think about this. The grid wasn't designed to handle the current levels of strain put on it by modern energy consumption. Air conditioning, an absolute necessity during the brutal summer months, drives energy use through the roof. With demand consistently outpacing supply, the system teeters on the edge of collapse. And here's the kicker. While everyone assumes the grid is a well-managed, watertight operation, it's actually held together with outdated infrastructure, aging power plants, and safety mechanisms that act more like band-aids than solutions. These so-called safety measures kick in to prevent total grid meltdown, but all they really do is shut off power when the system gets overwhelmed. What that means for you is widespread blackouts, sometimes lasting days. It's not a question of if, but when. This summer, experts are already sounding the alarm. Projections indicate a rising risk of rolling blackouts, particularly in regions prone to extreme heat. The U.S. grid simply isn't prepared to meet the surging demand during heat waves. While other nations are investing heavily in renewable energy and grid updates, the U.S. lags behind, stuck in an unsustainable pattern of crisis management. The takeaway? The system can and will fail in moments of high demand. Don't think for one second that this won't affect you. The time to worry isn't after you've lost power. It's now. Get ready or get left in the dark. Blackouts might be inevitable, but your survival during one doesn't have to be a guessing game. You've got two options when the lights go out for days or even weeks. 
Be prepared or suffer. The choice is yours. For starters, invest in backup systems that don't leave you at the mercy of the grid. A solar generator isn't a luxury, it's a necessity. Pair it with solar-powered air conditioners and portable refrigerators, and you've instantly mitigated some of the harshest effects of a blackout. Your fridge won't stop working, which means your food won't spoil. You won't swelter in oppressive heat, and you'll have the power to charge critical devices. Speaking of food, what's your plan when the grid fails? You need to think beyond the here and now. Stock up on non-perishable items and create a system to preserve perishable goods when the power's down. Your freezer isn't going to magically stay cold. If you don't have a plan, you'll be left with rotting food and no way to eat. Travel plans? Forget them. A blackout doesn't just mean no power in your home. It also disrupts gas stations and public transportation. You don't want to be stranded miles from safety, unable to refuel or communicate. When everything grinds to a halt, mobility becomes a liability. Limiting travel ensures you stay in control of your environment. Blackouts are coming. You can't stop them, but you can decide how badly they'll affect you. Waiting and hoping for the best will put you in the worst kind of situation. The Global Grid Gamble The idea that power grids elsewhere in the world are immune to failure is laughable. If Europe's recent fiasco isn't enough to convince you, consider this reality check. No grid is invincible. Not the US, not Europe, not anywhere. You're rolling the dice every single day with infrastructure that's inherently vulnerable to a range of devastating threats. Natural disasters like hurricanes, earthquakes, and yes, solar flares can wreak havoc. Solar flares might sound like science fiction, but they can cause real and profound damage to power systems. Coronal mass ejections, CMEs, release massive amounts of energy that can fry critical infrastructure in seconds. Under the wrong conditions, a single CME could wipe out the power grid for months or even years. And don't forget, we're in the middle of a solar maximum right now. The risks are higher than they've been in over a decade. Then there's the human factor. Cyber attacks targeting power systems aren't just theoretical, they've already happened. Hackers see the grid as a goldmine for disruption, and it doesn't take much to shut things down. Whether it's through ransomware or sabotage, the grid is a glaring weak spot. Finally, we have black swan events. These are the true wild cards. By definition, they're unexpected and hard to predict, but their impact is catastrophic. They could stem from a combination of natural and human-made factors. But one thing is clear. When these events occur, power systems buckle under the pressure. Globalized systems have made grids interconnected and interdependent. A failure in one region puts others at risk. What happened in Europe this year could easily ripple across oceans. Nobody's safe from the cascading effects of a major blackout. And if you think you're the exception, think again. Blackouts are indiscriminate. The only way forward is to prepare for the inevitable grid failure. Otherwise, you're betting your safety on a system that's proven time and again to be unreliable. Living on the edge of uncertainty. Traveling during summer always comes with its challenges. But the looming risk of grid failure adds a whole new level of anxiety. Imagine being hundreds of miles from home, stuck on the side of the road because gas pumps are down. Or worse, think about being stranded in an unfamiliar place with no way to charge your phone, no fuel, and a rapidly diminishing supply of food and water. These aren't just hypothetical scenarios anymore, they're very real possibilities. The speaker's personal hesitation about summer travel is one many share, and for good reason. The idea of a carefree summer road trip or a quick flight to a vacation spot sounds great in theory, but the reality is far more sobering. Today's infrastructure, already pushed to its limits, could fail catastrophically in an instant. Traveling makes you vulnerable. You're stepping outside the safety of your home, where you may have backup systems and emergency supplies in place. Out on the road, you're at the mercy of a grid that is utterly unreliable during peak summer months. The challenge lies in balancing the desire to live life fully with the need to stay prepared. Everyone wants to enjoy the summer, to travel freely, to make memories. But how do you reconcile that with the knowledge that blackouts are not a matter of if, but when? Do you risk it, hoping the grid holds up just long enough for you to make it through your getaway? Or do you take the cautious stance and stay grounded, prioritizing safety over spontaneity? The real issue is that most people don't even consider these possibilities until they're already in the thick of a crisis. Stranded on a highway, unable to access fuel or food, all the planning in the world won't matter if you're miles from your supplies. The speaker's concerns aren't paranoia. They're a direct reaction to an increasingly unstable system. For those willing to gamble, the stakes couldn't be higher. For the rest, the message is clear. Travel smarter or don't travel at all. Act now or face the consequences. The time for hoping and waiting is over. 
If you aren't actively preparing for power outages, you're setting yourself up for disaster. Think about it. Blackouts don't just mean an inconvenience of flickering lights or resetting your clocks. They mean no refrigeration, no air conditioning, no fuel, and no communication. If these systems go down during a heat wave, the effects could be deadly. You need a plan, and you need it now. Start with backup systems that give you options when the grid fails. Invest in solar generators to keep essential devices running. Pair them with solar-powered air conditioners and portable refrigerators to keep your home livable and your food fresh. This isn't about luxury, it's about survival. When the grid is down for days or weeks, you'll thank yourself for having the foresight to prepare. Planning doesn't end with equipment. Your lifestyle and choices need to align with the reality of the risks. This summer, reconsider non-essential travel. Taking a vacation might sound appealing, but if the power goes out while you're away, you might find gas stations closed and roads gridlocked, leaving you stranded. Staying closer to home where you have access to your supplies is the safer bet. If you do plan to travel, make sure you have everything you might need if things go south. Being proactive is the difference between navigating blackouts with relative ease and being thrown into chaos. Stock up on non-perishable food, store water, and create an emergency supply kit that includes everything from first aid to battery-powered lighting. Talk to your family about what to do if the power goes out and you're separated. Preparation doesn't stop at buying gadgets, it's a mindset. And here's the truth most won't say outright. The risks aren't going away. Blackouts aren't flukes, they're a symptom of a deeper problem. The system is broken. It's not something politicians or utility companies are going to fix before the next crisis hits. That leaves you with one choice, to prepare or to suffer. This isn't fear-mongering, it's reality. The clock is ticking and no one's coming to save you. Act now before it's too late.